you hear the word police, and you think of flashing lights, uniforms, and sirens. But in China, that image is changing fast, because today, the officer watching the crowd might not blink or breathe. It might not even be human. China has officially launched its first robotic AI police force, actual robots patrolling real streets in real time. They're scanning faces, enforcing rules, responding to commands without ever needing a break. So here's the big question. What happens when policing meets machine learning? What can these AI officers actually do? And what does this shift mean for the rest of the world? Let's break it down. In Nakhon Path province, one AI unit stands out, literally, towering above human officers the AI Police Cyborg 1.0 is hard to miss. Dressed in a standard police uniform, it blends into law enforcement visuals at first glance. But a closer look reveals a machine built for precision and vigilance. This robotic officer is equipped with a full 360-degree vision system powered by multiple AI cameras. The cameras aren't only recording, they're analyzing. Facial recognition is active at all times, scanning for matches against databases of wanted individuals. Weapon detection is built into the system as well, allowing the robot to identify concealed objects that may pose a threat, even in crowded or chaotic environments. Its primary job is to monitor crowd behavior and alert authorities to any anomalies. Whether it's spotting someone acting erratically, identifying suspicious hand movements, or noticing tension building in a group, this cyborg's AI continuously feeds behavioral data to the command center. This is more than a security tool. It's the physical entry point of artificial intelligence into law enforcement spaces. It walks, observes, and responds in public. Visible proof that the role of machines in policing has gone beyond theory. But China didn't stop at one cyborg. The real buzz came from the streets of Shenzhen, the PM01 robot deployed in Shenzhen, brings a new face to AI policing, literally. Unlike the towering cyborg, PM01 is compact, standing just 1.38 meters tall and weighing 40 kilograms. But what it lacks in size, it makes up for in real-world functionality. This humanoid robot is designed for interaction. Videos show it walking alongside human officers in formation, waving to passers-by, and shaking hands. But behind the friendly behavior is complex technology. PM01 uses reinforcement learning to move naturally. Each step is calculated and adapted to avoid stumbles, obstacles, or unplanned motion. The LiDAR system, installed at its core, helps it map environments in real time. It can navigate city streets, parks, or shopping districts without relying on constant human input. Built by Engine AI, a Shenzhen startup founded in 2023, PM01 is part of a wave of robots intended to assist, not replace, police officers. Its price tag, around 12,000 USD, puts it within reach for broader urban deployment. Its duties include routine patrol, crowd engagement, and basic public service assistance. Beyond technical specs, its presence aims to build trust between AI systems and the public serving as a symbol of collaboration, not control. PM01 may look friendly, but under the hood, it's built for serious real-world scenarios. In Lianyunggang, the patrol sphere bot offers another approach. Unlike humanoid units, this robot is small, round, and wheel-based. It's designed specifically for mobility in high-traffic areas like malls, train stations, and public parks. Its compact build allows it to maneuver through tight spaces with ease. The integrated facial recognition system constantly scans the surroundings. Alongside it, thermal imaging sensors monitor body temperature, making it useful in both law enforcement and public health contexts. One case made headlines. A lost child was successfully reunited with family after the robot recognized ED the child's face and alerted nearby officers. This real-world use underscores its utility in situations requiring speed, accuracy, and calm presence. It moves autonomously using pre-mapped paths and obstacle detection. It doesn't need constant guidance. Instead, it works alongside human officers, covering more ground in less time and handling repetitive monitoring with steady reliability. But not all robots are humanoid. Some are built like sentinels on wheels. 
Anbot stands 1.5 meters tall and weighs 78 kilograms, capable of reaching speeds up to 18 kilometers per hour with an eight-hour battery life, making it an efficient unit for continuous surveillance. Developed by the National Defense University with ZTE, Anbot's primary function is to patrol and identify suspects. It uses advanced AI to detect unusual behavior, sending alerts to human officers in real time when threats are identified. Its Edge AI system allows for immediate decision-making on-site, powered by BU's Paddle Paddle and Huawei's Mindspore platforms. This means Anbot reacts without delays, offering faster responses in dynamic environments. As well as being smart, they're also fast. And what powers them is even more fascinating. The AI robots rely on cutting-edge tech like Huawei Ascend and Cambrian chips for fast data processing. This enables them to react in real time to environmental changes or potential threats. Facial recognition is powered by MegVI, SenseTime, and CloudWalk, allowing them to scan crowds and identify individuals based on a vast database of known suspects. Voice tech from iFlyTech supports multiple languages and dialects, helping robots assist both locals and tourists. Connectivity is powered by China Unicom's 5G network, ensuring real-time data encryption and live updates. SLAM and LAR technology enable precise navigation, even in complex urban spaces. All data syncs with China's Police Cloud database for live cross-checking against national records. But hardware is just one part. What really matters is how the public is reacting. The launch of China's AI police robots has sparked mixed reactions. Viral videos show the PM01 robot interacting with citizens, with some excited about the technology's potential, while others raise concerns over surveillance. Comparisons to Robocop and Iron Man have surfaced, highlighting their futuristic designs. However, privacy concerns dominate the conversation. Many are questioning the extent of surveillance and how personal data will be handled. To address these concerns, China has initiated media campaigns and educational programs to normalize AI policing, explaining its benefits and limitations while addressing privacy issues. Despite the mixed opinions, the tech is expanding fast. The rollout of AI police robots is expanding rapidly across China. Cities like Xi'an, Chengdu, and Huzhou are next in line to integrate these robots into their public safety systems. The government is setting long-term plans, with budgets allocated for AI policing through 2027, marking this as a sustainable shift in urban law enforcement. These robots are being woven into the broader smart city infrastructure, with applications extending beyond law enforcement. Keeping an eye on the streets is only one thing. They're becoming a part of the traffic management, public health monitoring, and legal systems integrating seamlessly with city operations to provide real-time responses across multiple sectors. In addition, the robots are now working in tandem with drones. Powered by Beidou GPS, the drones provide aerial coverage while the robots handle ground-level patrols. This coordination enhances the robot's capabilities, allowing for greater efficiency in monitoring larger crowds, navigating traffic, and responding to incidents faster than ever before. And what about the rest of the world? Will others follow China's lead? While China leads in the physical deployment of AI police robots, other regions are taking a different approach. In the United States, AI in law enforcement is largely confined to analytics rather than physical patrols. Systems like ShotSpotter detect gunshots, and predictive models are used to analyze crime trends. But robots aren't yet taking to the streets in the same way. In Europe, the use of facial recognition is heavily regulated, with some cities even banning it outright due to concerns over privacy and civil liberties. This contrasts with China's more open adoption of facial recognition for public safety, where AI robots actively scan crowds and identify potential threats in real time. China is undoubtedly ahead in physical deployment, integrating robots directly into urban infrastructure. However, this has sparked an ongoing ethical debate particularly around surveillance, privacy, and the potential for misuse of data. So, what's next for China's AI policing? And what does it mean for human jobs? While AI robots are taking on more visible roles in policing, their function isn't to replace human officers, but to handle repetitive, risky, and 24-7 tasks. 
These bots are ideal for managing constant surveillance in crowded areas, monitoring traffic, and handling low-priority incidents, tasks that are tiring and time-consuming for human officers. As robots take over these tasks, human police officers can focus on higher-level responsibilities, such as strategic decision-making, investigations, and handling situations that require emotional intelligence. This shift will likely lead to the creation of new roles in law enforcement, with humans and robots working side by side to ensure public safety. Looking ahead, China's plan includes building predictive crime grids and creating cities with always-on surveillance. Stress tests are already underway to ensure robots can make safe, ethical decisions when responding to emergencies. AI is surely transforming how the job is done, reshaping the role of law enforcement for the future. So, AI police are no longer future fiction. They're here. But how far is too far? Comment your thoughts below. Is this the future you'd accept? If you enjoyed this breakdown, don't forget to like, share, and subscribe for more in-depth tech analysis. Stay tuned for our next video. See you soon.